In any country, the road to investment can be a bumpy ride. But in Tanzania, it may be about to get a bit smoother. Constructors have built a giant bridge linking two halves of the country's commercial capital and it may help bring thousands of people together. I'm sure that will bring more investors in this side, in the Gambon side, and uh, even uh, tourism, tourism will be increased. And uh, many people now, even uh, people in Dar es Salaam, most of them now are moving, living this side because it's very close to the city centre than going up, up country. The bridge is the biggest of its kind in East Africa and will cut hours off people's journeys. And this isn't just about traffic. The bridge is designed to unlock a whole new part of Dar es Salaam and attract investment in hotels, beaches, accommodation. In short, the government wants this to act as an example to the whole country. And there's reason for optimism. The World Bank has praised the country as an economic bright spot on the continent. There are plans for a new port and a bid for a cross-country oil pipeline, among other projects. Tanzania is a very good, very good country, very less country, and uh, the infrastructure is changing every day, and uh, also the investment environment is changing every day. And uh, so we do hope, and we are confident in the near future, there will be more and more projects like this one is going to happen. But President John Magafuli acknowledges there is work to do. The country needs better infrastructure, more skills, and less corruption. For people that are willing to put in the hard yards, Tanzania can be very, very profitable. For people that come in and expect it to be, you know, Europe 2.0 or America light, they're, they're going to lose their shirt. So, like anything, local knowledge is the key. So if you come in, uh, you engage people that are here already, and you take the time to, to learn the environment, then it can be a very profitable place. So far, the World Bank has praised President Magafuli's anti-corruption crusade, and the government hopes this is just the start, because the biggest bridge they need is the one that goes to investors' doors. Dan Ashby, CCTV, in Tanzania.